to 25 Hot Country Cafe. I'm Zach Irwin. And I'm Jim Cody from the Waco 100 Morning Show. This week we're coming to you from the Waco 100 Studios. Why, you're asking? Because uh, we're going to have some special guests here in just a little while. That's John Elliott on the control uh, he's board right now. He's not the right special now. guest. No, he? no, no. He's not special at all. Uh, but let's get his fact, attention. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he can cook <laughs> bacon and eggs on that thing, too, as a matter of hey, fact. Hey, all right. right. Hey y'all, I'm Kix Brooks. Hi, I'm Ronnie Dunn. And we're Brooks. And Dunn, and you're watching 25 Hot Country Cafe. Welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe from the Waco 100 studio. Yeah, we... What, <laughs> what is this? Oh, gosh. No respect, I no tell you. Respect no respect. We've got some more great videos on the way. Yeah, in fact, two brand new ones. One from McBride and the Ride, and the other from Susie Boggess. A couple of brand new videos, the new McBride and the Ride and the Susie Boggess. That McBride and the Ride from the uh, Lane Frost movie. Yeah, Luke Perry's going to be in that upcoming show. Christine Kahanik is coming up in a little while with some country music news and concert information for us. Also, the sax man has uh, the review. Another one of those reviews. Stay with us on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Hi, this is Greg Sachs, the sax man from Waco 100. Time to check out another hot new country CD. This is the brand new CD from Doug Stone called More Love. You've heard the single I Never Knew Love before, but check out the first three cuts. Addicted to a dollar, she used to love me a lot, and more love. You're going to love Doug Stone. This will go right in the stocking. What a great stocking stuffer this will make for Christmas time. It gets a 9 on a scale from 1 to 10. So buy Doug Stone and buy it now. That's it for the sax man, and I'll see you soon. I never knew what innocence was about. That's the latest from Doug Stone, I Never Knew Love. Hey, don't forget now, tomorrow morning on the Zach and Jim Show, concert information, but let's go ahead and tell them now. All right, let's tell them. All right, Willie Nelson is going to be at the Melody Ranch, and it's coming up this Tuesday night. November tickets, 30th. Tickets yeah. at the door, and Waco 100 is going to give away tickets all week long, so make sure you listen. That'll be a good show. You want to get there early because there's going to be uh, lots oh, of folks there. That'll be a great one. Hey, an interview with Brooks and Dunn. Great, great guys, and also some footage from our Carrot Toss trail ride coming up. On 25 Hot Country Cafe. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Christine Kahanik and here's who's making news this week in country music. Well now that Thanksgiving is over, it's time to start getting serious about Christmas, yes Christmas, and several country music artists have already done just that, including Alan Jackson, Vince Gill, Kathy Matea, and Lori Morgan all have Christmas albums out this year guaranteed to get you in the spirit. Lori Morgan says she got an early Christmas present when she teamed up with singer Andy Williams for one of the cuts on her album, Merry Christmas from London. The single they did together was The Little Snow Girl. Congratulations to Sammy Kershaw and his wife Kim as they welcome their second child into the world. Emily Christina Kershaw weighed in at a healthy, happy 7.5 pounds. And the next day, Kershaw found out that his Haunted Heart album was certified gold. Kershaw says it's been a great year for him, and I'd say we definitely all agree. And Clay Walker says if it's good, it's because of where he comes from. Walker is from Beaumont, Texas, which also gave us Tracy Bird, Mark Chestnut, and George Jones. Walker says you dream big in a small town, but there's a lot of competition for a place to work. And even though they try to outdo each other, Walker says they're all good friends. I just want to live until I die. Speaking of Clay Walker, he is coming this Friday night to Cody's in Waco. Tickets are still available, but you better hurry. They're going fast. And there is a special concert coming soon. Waco 100 is bringing Willie Nelson, the red-headed stranger, to the Melody Ranch in Waco. And we've got some great entertainment coming to Billy Bob's in December. This Saturday night, country legend George Jones will take the stage. 
On the 11th, look for Hal Ketchum, Toby Keith on the 18th, Jerry Jeff Walker on the 25th, and one of my personal favorites, Steve Warner on the 31st. And I can't think of a better way to bring in the new year. Well, that's all the time I have for this week, but meet me at the same time, same place next week. I'll have more information for you on your favorite country music stars and the top concerts coming soon to Central Texas. I'll see you again next week. We were songwriters over at the same publishing company. Uh, I just moved to town about three years ago. And uh, we took our, our demos over to Tim Dubois, the head of Ariston Records. And yeah, <laughs> Mr. Manipulate, Mr. Uh, <laughs> make an act. So anyway, he, uh, he asked us if we wanted to be a duo. And uh, we went to school for about six months and learned what harmony was and still haven't learned very well. <laughs> we learned what it was, and but you we know haven't what that is to do now? it yet. We, yeah. we flunked that course. <laughs> okay. So we just kept singing songs and going out on stage and doing our deal. And the records kept doing well. So here we are. We're a dead gum duo. How does it feel, first of all, to be chosen as the duo of the year? It must be a thrill, I would think. You bet. Beats losing. <laughs> <laughs> well, who were your competitors? Though? You had some stiff competition. You bet. I mean, there's a, a lot of good duos out there and a lot of good upcoming duos. You know, the Phelps brothers are in there. and. Uh, of course, walking by Naomi Judd at the at the awards, she said, "I'm feeling better all the time." Yeah. So, <laughs> she keeps that thread open too. Yeah. I think Brand New Man for me has a kind of has a special place in my heart because it really got us going, you know. And that was that was also the first song that we really felt like this one might, you know, this one could get us on the map. You know, it was the first single we came with and everything like that. So. You know, as time goes on, I think whatever singles out and the crowd's liking the best is probably what we like the best. But, okay. but that one, uh, that one's one I'll always look back on as, you know, the one that gave us the confidence to get up and go with it. It's funny when when we first made the record, uh, it barely got on the record, and then, uh, you know, I think the the label and everybody was a little tentative about it because it was kind of on the rocking side of things for, you know, when we when we made that record, but. Uh, Boy, the crowds out there just night after night before it was on the radio uh, were just loving it, you know, and we kept coming back and saying, I think there's something going on here, you know. So you were playing it before the radios were playing it. Oh, yeah. The, it the, the weird thing would happen, the crowds would chant it, you know, about halfway during the show, they'd be going, boot, scoot, and boogie, boot, scoot, mm -hmm. and go, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to play this song first. Uh -huh. It just caught on, did a weird deal. Are you going to stick with your same type of style, or are you going to try and change, or do you know? It's hard to say. We don't give much thought to that. We, we just pretty much, you know, we write the songs that, that, you know, that, that we like and uh, hope that other people will like them and uh, put them on tape and put CDs and all that and go with it. Oh, I know everybody here is looking forward to seeing you. It's been, it's been advertised for quite a while and everyone's really been built up, so. Right. Good. A good crowd and like it. What do you think is the most fantastic thing about being, you know, country music artist? Well, you're, you're playing like, every night the, is the real blast for me. You know, I mean, we love it all. Uh, from the t-shirts to the songwriting, you know, I mean, it's, we're just kids in the candy store right now, you know, but it's, it's hard to beat walking out on stage when the crowd's getting fired up and you are too, and there's no feeling like it for me. Same thing? Oh, yeah. Ditto? Yeah, ditto and being able to afford a house payment. You, know, <laughs> buy a you can afford a house payment? <laughs> Depends on what kind of house. Right? Yeah, it's a little house. Maybe with a double wide trailer. I got one of those, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so funny about that. <laughs> hey, Jim, a couple of nice guys, Brooks and Dunn. Yeah, we appreciate them coming by, and what a concert, too. Yeah. Hey, speaking of interviews, next week on our show, we're going to have an interview with the great legend himself, Willie Nelson. Country Music Hall of Famer, as a matter of fact. That's going to wrap it up for us, and uh, you're looking at some trail ride uh, footage from the Caritas Trail Ride. The fourth annual. We had a great time, thanks to everybody that helped to make it a, a big success. We'll see you again next week, right here on 25 Hot Country Cafe.